Hi parents! This video is for you. I would like to touch base with you and give you an update on some changes that have been made as we look forward to managing the last five weeks of school together. So the good news is we are going to continue to use Seesaw. That has been a really great program. If you haven't gotten um, into Seesaw and have been marking off activities, you'll need to do that now. I know I mentioned that a couple of times. I'm so sorry. You're probably so sick of hearing that, but I still have some families who have not been marking off their activities, and this is just so crucial because this is how we are going to move forward. It is um, kind of like a replacement of Google Classroom. If you are really uncomfortable with posting things to Seesaw, just reach out to me and let me know, but that's the really like one of the only ways I can um, easily track progress. So if you, I'm open to suggestions though too, like if you have other ideas. So moving forward, we have been asked to document um, progress from the kids and document what they're doing and um, how they're doing. And so I think this is great because the kids probably are looking for some feedback on how awesome they've been doing. And in Seesaw, that's a great way for me to do that. I can very quickly see who's completed an, ass an assignment and who has not completed the assignment. Um, so that's, I think, the best approach is how we're going to move forward. So what it's going to look like. On Mondays are going to be lesson planning days for me. I am going to use that day to create lessons that will be taught on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. It's also a great opportunity for you to reach out to me if you have any questions on Mondays. Um, I'm available, but mostly those are going to be lesson planning days and um, video creating days. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, you can expect a lesson plan from me each morning. And then on Friday, we'll be hosting Zoom rooms, which I'm pretty excited about because the kids absolutely love seeing one another. And I'll have a Zoom room in the morning and a Zoom room in the evening. And this is basically an opportunity where I will open up Zoom and it'll be open from like you know, 10 a.m. to like 10.30 a.m. or whatever, and they can pop in and out and say hi to their friends, and we'll just, it's very social, it's very relaxed, it's a, a, a fun little get-together, and I'll have two of those on Friday, one in the morning and one in the evenings, and then Friday is also when I'm going to have some office hours available for parents or for students if they just want to pop in and see me and have a conversation with me like we've been doing those 10-minute um, appointments. I'm looking into how to set up on my calendar um, some available times that you can just click on so that it's a little bit more efficient. So I'm still kind of learning as uh, probably we all are, but I'm going to reach out to someone who's been doing that um, in their class and they're going to help me with that. So Tuesday, thir Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday is when you're going to get the lesson plans, but you actually have the entire week to work on them. Um, so if you feel like Tuesday is kind of a crazy day, you know, you both are working and, and it just isn't a possibility to get the work done on Tuesday, you know, work on it on Wednesday, work on it on Thursday, work on it on Friday. Even if you need to take into the weekend to work on it and turn it in on Monday, that's totally fine with me. Uh, I want to be as flexible as possible. Hey, I am in the same boat as you. I am in the same boat as you. I promise. I've got that seven-year-old doing tons and tons of homework and the two-year-old that loves to destroy the house all day long. So I um, really emphasize... Um, emphasize sorry, empathize with you, and um, I want to be a partner uh, through the whole thing. So I am going to be going to school over the next three days, and I'm going to start planning curriculum. I am so excited to move forward on curriculum. The children are, are eager to learn. This class is a brilliant class. I mean, unbelievable how quickly they have learned stuff, and I don't want them to lose that. You guys don't want them to lose that, I'm sure. So we're going to move forward and we're going to teach new curriculum. And that is why, again, it is so crucial, so, so, so crucial that you be in Seesaw marking off the activities. And again, I am so happy to help show you how to do that. I'm going to resend out everyone's student login. You do have to be logged in as the student in order to see the activity. It's one of the major downfalls um, that I cannot get around because it is really truly set up to be used within a classroom. Um, but the link is there. Several parents have had 
great success doing it. Uh, so it shouldn't be too bad. Ah, uh, this video is going over five minutes. I'm so sorry. I was trying to do this quickly <laughs> and efficiently. And the last and most important thing I want to say to you is um, at the pickup next week, I would love for you to send back anything that your kids have wanted to share with me that they've completed, that they want to show me their work. I, I would love to see it. I'm going to prepare some stuff to send home. But most importantly, please can you send back your library books? and your book bags with all the books inside. You should either have two letter books and two number books. If you didn't get a chance to fill your book bag before school left, you would have only two of each. But if you filled your book bag before school left, I actually put in three of each. Um, those are my classroom books and they're all I have. Um, so if you could just take the time to search your house and make sure that you can return anything that might belong to the classroom, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, my plan and my hope is to include a small little um, trinket for the children. Just, I don't know, I'm a gifter. I love to give things when I feel sad and, and um, miss the kids. And then I also am going to try... If I have time, um, I'm also going to try to make up a little snack bag for each kid to send home some of the snacks you guys so graciously gave to our class that we had hoped to eat. <laughs> um, so I'm going to try so hard to do that. I, I really am. Um, parents, I can't thank you enough. I, this has been probably the greatest group of kids I've ever taught. And I know you think that teachers just say that. But I'm not. I've been teaching for five years in many different settings, a couple of years in adult education as well. And this has just been a treat to work with these kids. So I am here always, anytime, available via email or phone, any questions you have. Okay? Have a great rest of your day. And I know there's going to be questions from this, so please reach out to me. Talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.